today we are targeting a nasty looking fish. People call it the frankenfish. It has sharp teeth, tiny little beady eyes, a snake pattern. They're all slimy, they're huge, and supposedly they're really hurting our ecosystem. This fish is called the snakehead fish. And they're relatively easy to catch, and I'm gonna show you how. My object, main objective today is to catch a snakehead and cook it up. So now, a little backstory. My grandma is terrified of these fish and will not eat these fish at all. I know other people who refuse to touch the fish as well because of how ugly they are. But I have also heard that they're really, really tasty. Um, in Vietnam, I know they eat a lot. They make, it with, um, they make it with fish sauce and sugar and they do it a really awesome way. I know in Vietnam, they love to eat the snakehead fish. So different parts of the world, like it, different parts of the world hate it. Today, I'm gonna to try and catch one for myself and we'll be the judge. Okay, simplest way to catch snakehead, top water. Just gonna throw a frog. I don't wanna overcomplicate things. Just gonna throw this over and over again. What kind of frog is this? Is there any? This is a zoom ribbit frog and these legs will kick the water up and make bubbles. Um, it's also completely weedless, so it won't get snagged on anything. See, the, here's the hook. When the fish bites, it exposes the hook, and then you set the hook. See? I'm gonna throw this guy on first. This is muddy. Here's the stadium. First cast! Warning! This episode is particularly graphic during the second half. If you are squeamish, look away. So, snakehead fishing is a simple game of hide and seek, but these snakes are great at hiding. They particularly like to hide in thick vegetation and near wood, in about one to three foot of water. First thing I do when I get to a spot is make a really long cast, and then I start covering as much water as I can. I will fan out my casts so that I can check as many hiding spots as possible. Sometimes it takes a million casts to find one. Sometimes it takes just one. Either way, it's all part of the game. I will cast towards thick vegetation or heavy cover these are spots that they love to hide. And I'll do this until I get a blow up. It might take a while, but stick to it and you will be rewarded with a big fish. Yeah! Oh yeah. Dang, look at that fish. Whoa. All right, he's dead. Going in the cooler. And now let's take a moment, cook him. how you do it. Very simply, folks. <laughs> I got a snakehead. This is number two. 
Look at that fish. Woo! This is a small guy. That's nice. Nice. It's really simple. Just you just drag this frog over top of the water. Oh, right in the eyeball. <laughs> of course. Okay, he's dead now. But you can see how it's like completely camouflaged in the water right here. Look, it's so hard to see this, but it will poke its head out just this much so that its eyes can see and it can breathe without giving up its position. That's so unique of this fish. And the teeth, it's got some dinosaur teeth in here. Look at that. Okay, we've got our fish. Time to go home and clean it up. But a quick warning, this will be graphic. If you are squeamish, look away or skip through it. Here we go. Here's the snakehead. Ooh. And it really does look like a snake. Even the shape of it. I can see why my grandma is afraid of this guy. Ah, uh, look at that. That's grass. And they're super slimy, look at that. Uh. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're definitely a unique fish. This snakehead in particular is tw about 20 inches right here. This is a, a, a good eating size, but they get way bigger. Dr they call it, they call it any snake head over 30 inches, they call them dragons. I wouldn't say this is a dragon class, um, but this is perfect size to eat, and I'm gonna show you a really, really easy way to eat it. You don't need to scale it, you don't need to do anything. All you really need to do is just take the guts out. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to clean this and cook it really easily. So this method is, we're gonna leave the scales and everything on, we're just gonna gut it and take the fins off. We're gonna put this whole fish onto a grill let the let the grill cook the whole thing with the scales on the scale should just peel right off revealing just flaky white meat and i've done this with many different kinds of fish you don't have to just do it with this fish any fish with big scales any fish with scales this will work the scales actually act as um, it helps it so the fish meat does not get burned it protects it it kind of it kind of bakes all the meat within within those scales that's why it's important to keep the scales on. And it's also nice to not have to sit there and scale a bunch of fish. Okay, so, simply. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> first, I'm gonna cut off all the fins. Then I'm gonna remove the guts. And then it's ready to cook. The thing with this fish is it's so slippery. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Now the, the actual bone structure of this fish is also very different. Look at that. First off, it has a lot of guts. And the actual canal of this fish, the inside body, it goes all the way down to here, which I think is very unique. Now this is a little graphic, so if this is too much for you, look away. But I find this very unique, very unique for this fish. Here are the gills right here, right? This is the heart. But when you cut the gills, there's another set of something right here. I mean, look at this structure under here. It looks so strange. I don't know what the function of this is for or why it looks like this, but there's also teeth in its throat right here. You see that? That's more teeth right here. So man, this thing is really built to just devour things. So we're gonna cut this off. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. That's a lot of guts. And But look at these eggs right here. We'll save these eggs. And let's see what's inside its stomach. That's a classic friend in move. Seeing what's inside the stomach will help determine what it's been eating. And I'm curious. Crawdad. Big crawdads. Interesting. Did you see that? I saw, but I didn't recognize that it was a crawdad. I recognized it immediately. <laughs> okay. That is its floating bubble. Here, sir. I think this is the liver right here. So what's interesting is that it, after you gut it, you can keep going. Like, there's a big canal in here, look. See, way more. It just has so much space in there. I think maybe to fill it with eggs, I'm not sure. Big cavity? Yeah, big cavity. And now this is ready for the grill. We just slap this on. Let me show you. So here's the prepared snake head. Look at that. Look at it all nested like this. Wow. Looks great. I cut off the fins. I gutted it. It looks cool. You save a lot of meat and it's really tasty this way. And easy. And today we're making a really special meal. Snake head spring rolls. Yes. This is a classic. Okay. Let's get to it. Okay. We're just gonna slap this bad boy like this. Close it up. So I'm gonna leave this snake head in here, medium heat for like 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll flip it. This is a dish that my dad used to make with us all the time. And right now he's not here, he's quarantined in Florida, but I remember how to make it, and I'm gonna make it for myself, Aaron, and the rest of my family. So it's been five minutes, let's see what it looks like. Ooh. See, look at that. Look how the scales are getting burnt, but the meat's staying fine. That's good. That's awesome. I say another five to five to ten minutes. Okay, it's been a total of like twelve minutes, and I think it's done. Time to flip. Oh yeah, look at that. It's definitely cooked in here. So I'm okay to flip it now. Woo! Oh my gosh, that looks good. Oh yeah. That's it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna prep the spring roll stuff. So now I'm making the oil that goes on top of the fish. This is kind of like the sauce. So we need some oil. These are green onions and I'm gonna cut them up and put them in the oil. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it in the oil. This is just sea salt. Put a little sprinkle on there. I'm also making the, the noodles that go inside of the spring rolls, and I'm using rice vermicelli. Quickly boil it. Okay, so over here, I've already went ahead and prepared the cucumbers that I sliced into um, long slivers, and then some shredded carrots. Now we're gonna be wrapping the snake head with all of this, uh, the noodles and the sauce. Um, inside this rice paper right here. I think the snake head's done. Let's go check on that. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's done. That's cooked for sure. Yeah, you hear how crunchy this is? It's done. Oh. 
and here's the row. Okay, see, super simple. So now, now that it's charred, all these scales will just supposedly just come right off. Ooh, see that? Whoa. Whoa. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> One side done. Let's take his head off. Look at that head. Whoa. Like a straight up snake. Look at that. <laughs> that is creepy. That's your centerpiece. I'm gonna open his mouth. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like as if the the two layers stuff <laughs> weren't enough. It has like its lips are covered in those little tiny. Oh yeah, there's more here. Know? Yeah. Oh wow. This is a killing machine. Yeah, it's an eating machine. Look at that head meat. Mmm. That's good. And look at all that. It's just meat. Meat and bones from here on. Okay, next this oil goes on top of this fish just like this. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And then, peanuts. Okay. So we've got everything prepared now. All we gotta do is roll it into a spring roll. Now we're gonna go ahead and start rolling. This is the fun part where you get all your friends and family to come and help you roll and you eat as you roll. Mm -hmm. That's how we like to do it. So let me show you how we do it. This is rice paper, right? It's hard right now, but as soon as you put it in warm water, it starts to turn really soft, right? So we, we wet it, put it on the plate like this, and this is gonna turn real soft. While it's softening, we'll put some noodles in it. I like extra noodles in mine. <laughs> some veggies, cucumbers, some shredded carrots, and then we put some fish in. Just like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm drooling. Okay. Now, we fold the corners in just like this. And then, tightly roll it just like this. Yes. One and done. Aaron, why don't you join me? Let's let's roll a bunch of them right now. Okay. How many cucumbers do you do? I did two. I did two. But you can do however much you I want. I can do however many. Oh, we forgot cilantro. Huh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Cilantro. I'm going to get cilantro. How dare you? It's a good thing you didn't eat it yet. Forgot the cilantro. This one's mine. Oh my god. That's mine. Yours is... I definitely have some room for improvement. Yours is a strange shape. I think you should uh, try and get it all in, in like... Like know, To sit equally, okay. yeah. I will then. If the sides are, are too thin, it's gonna roll like that. 
All right, what's the sauce? Okay, we've got a, a special sauce. Stitch. This dish is not complete without fish sauce. This is Vietnamese fish sauce. It's like a sweet, salty sauce that you dip this in. Oh my gosh, it is good. Just like that. Mmm. Mmm. to you what happened when I took my first bite. Mm -hmm. The whole room started spinning. <laughs> Everything started spinning and then I lost my vision for a second and then I realized I was eating this. Is it because you closed your eyes? Mm. Mm. Well thank you guys for joining us. We had an awesome time showing you our favorite way to eat fish. Mm. Well this is one of my favorite ways to eat fish. Yeah. How about you? One of my favorite. Absolutely. Really easy to go out and catch, really easy to cook it up. This is a great way to uh, feed yourself, is to catch own, your own fish. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to inspire you guys to get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Uh, we want to make it really easy for you to learn how to fish, because it is pretty easy. Kira, Kira, I'm filming a video. <laughs> so itchy. <laughs> She's so itchy. Her face, she's, look at that big Grinch on her face. Oh my gosh. Kira, come here. Oh, long scratch. Come here. We're filming a YouTube video. You can't make so much noise. Come here. Oh! Say hi to everybody. Thank you for watching. This is Kira. <laughs> Here at Hay Skipper, we want to make it really easy for you to learn how to fish. So we give you guys tutorials and all sorts of different ebooks and online resources uh, on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. If you want to learn more, check out our website. We've got lots of stuff on there to get you into fishing. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next week. <laughs> Good, let's dig in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's a wrap. <laughs> you killed me with that one. I'm just gonna think that one's funny. Mm. No, but seriously, that's a wrap.